hello hello my lovelies welcome to yet another get ready with me video um i don't exactly have a topic to talk about while we put on makeup so we're gonna go ahead and just do the makeup today it's super early so i'm gonna be talking a little bit lower so yeah um because i'm going shopping later so you guys are going to be getting ready with me to go shopping and i'm gonna tell you guys just may maybe some couple things i don't know these videos are unscripted, so if that's anything that you're into, let's just go ahead and roll the intro. Now first, before we jump into the makeup, I have to show you the drink of the day. Um, I don't just say it as a funny thing to get your snacks and your drinks. Please drink along with me, eat along with me. Um, today's drink of the day is sadly Coca-Cola because I did not have enough time to make coffee before I set everything up to do this video. That and I woke up with a really bad like leg cramp, which was just super painful. So yeah, why not put on my makeup while I'm sitting down? So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. I'm um, going to just jump in with my primer here, which is the CoverGirl True Blend Base Business Skin Primer. I got that on clearance. I'm going to go ahead and put that on my eyes because I do not like doing my foundation, concealer, all that like general face stuff before my eyes. So we always do the eyes first on this channel. And this is the Profusion Cosmetics Limited Edition Mean Girls Palette Mirror. I got it for, I think, $10 at Walmart. I've never been sponsored. I'm not a professional. Those are disclaimers as well. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and jump into the makeup today. Oh, my dog walked past my, my tripod. It's super early. So, yeah. We're all primed up now. And now I'm going to go in with the 16-hour camo concealer matte finish from e.l.f. This is the shade Fair Beige. There's a number, but it's really long. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that on the eyes. I'm going to take my brush, which normally I would spray with setting spray, but I'm all out of setting spray. So, I will be buying more today. I'm going to take my mirror here and spread that all out. Because this stuff likes to dry kind of fast. That's one thing I can say about this concealer, is it kind of dries fast. And it gets hard to spread around when it gets dry like that. So... just like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and then I'll come back to you guys. And would you look at that? It's already time to take a drink. Yes, I will have you guys take drinks along with me. So I'm going to go ahead and take a drink. I want you to take one also. Because I need the caffeine and the coffee maker is very slow, but we need the caffeine like now i don't have the time to wait so don't 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 be like me please try to drink water or coffee or tea don't be like me and just jump right on to the junk food so yeah with our scheduled drink out of the way let's go ahead and jump right back into the makeup all right so now i'm going to use my maybelline fit me matte and poreless in the shade translucent powder which Again, is another thing I need to buy more of today, which is why we're going shopping, which is the reason of the video. See how everything is just falling into place? So I'm going to take that and put that on my eyes so they don't crease. I don't know if this is the proper way to do things, but this is how I do it. So again, I'm not a professional. You don't have to follow my instructions. I do not claim to know shit. I have only been doing my own makeup for three years. There's a lot of shit I don't know. So, you don't have to follow what I say. Also, did you just hear my shoulder? Holy crap. Mm-hmm. 
I don't look like I have chronic pain because I can walk. Never mind. Never mind every never mind everything that is wrong with that sentence, but you would be astonished it with as many times as I'm told. That in the health care system is just fucked, so yeah. But enough about that. That is a, that is as close to politics as I am ever getting because I do not like politics. Don't ever ask me to talk about politics on this channel. I hate politics. I do not align with any political party. And the whole reason why I'm bringing this up is because I got a comment on one of my videos and somebody said, like, based off my opinion, that they could tell I was a liberal. It was like a movie review. What in my opinion on a children's movie? I think it was actually the one about the black Ariel. I think, yeah, I think it was that. I forgot which, which video it was on, but I think it was that one. I just remember it was a movie review. But somebody told me that based off of my opinion about a fictional mermaid and saying that it's okay if she's black or not, that they could tell I was a liberal. How, though? How, though? How does my opinion on one single thing make me automatically affiliated and rooting for a certain party? That doesn't make sense. Because we live in a democracy. We have two parties that we can look at and we can agree with things on both sides. There's people I do not like on both sides. I do not affiliate myself with any party. Because quite frankly, I think both have messed up majorly in huge ways. It's just so weird that people like equate like a simple opinion about something so insignificant at the end of the day, like a movie opinion, that someone will automatically turn it political. And I just, I hate that because again, I don't like politics. It's just weird to me. So yeah, just with that little tiny rant out of the way that came out of nowhere, uh, we're going to go ahead and take my, probably my favorite palette right now. Um, this is the Moonstone palette from Profusion Cosmetics. This is $10 at Walmart. And I love Profusion. Their pigments are so good. Profusion, if you're out there, sponsor me, please. I love your products. And Walmart is the closest place I have that has anything like a big selection of beauty products. It's either that or a Dollar General. Or a Myers. So... I don't have like a Sephora or an Ulta or any of those things near me. All of those, the nearest one is at the mall that's like over two hours away from me. So I don't have like a big beauty store near me. All I have is Walmart, Myers, and like Dollar General. So what, so, so what you gonna do? But yeah. Like not sponsored, but I love their, love, love their products. So yeah. I'm going to go in, and I'm probably going to do something simple. I put on a really bunch of makeup yesterday. I went to go see one of my one of my relatives, and I had a great time with them, and it was nice to see them. But, yeah, I did a big makeup look yesterday. It took me like two and a half hours, so today we're going to just be simple. I'm probably just going to throw on a hoodie when I leave the house, honestly. Like, I'm not even going to try to make an outfit like I normally do. So, yeah, I'm going to go into the shade Equinox here, this gray. And I'm just going to do my crease. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and dip into that. Um, I have it set down because I can't hold it, hold my mirror, and dip at the same time. I don't have three hands. So, I'm just going to go into this crease here, like in here. And I'm just going to go ahead and line it with this gray shade. But while I'm doing that, it's like... Uh, on another th note of things, is like I've gotten requests to go back to live streaming. 
and I would like to. Let me start off by saying that, um, I know probably only the people that have requested it probably are the ones probably watching this video, so that's why I'm mentioning it here. Because y'all are the ones that watch all the content no matter what, instead of like specific videos. Like other people that I've noticed through my analytics. So for those of you wanting the live streams back, I would like to. But my thing about it is I'm scared of what would happen. Because every single time I've live streamed, and I don't live stream anything bad. I don't even live stream my face is the thing. I live stream Minecraft. I, mi I live stream my Minecraft world. Just to have, like, just on days when I'm, like, having chronic pain flare-ups and I'm in bed, but I still want to talk to people and make content. But on those days, it can get physically hard. So I can just grab my headset, turn on my TV, turn on my PlayStation, and go live. And still be able to do something for you guys. That was the whole reason I started live streaming. And it's kind of hard to talk about still because it has affected me. <sighs> but every single time I have went live, I get harassed as well as the people in the chat. To the point that the people in my chat start to feel uncomfortable. They do not feel safe. They do not want to be there anymore. And it makes me really, really sad. Because I do my best. I have moderators and they do their best. And still these people come in in droves harassing and harassing and harassing. Telling me that they can't say who, but they were sent there by somebody who's really interested in how I was essayed. Or how my mom died. Or how my biological mom died. They want the details. If I give them the details, they'll leave me alone. They'll leave my my friends alone because at this point the people that are watch my live streams are basically my friends they're the people that have been here since my first tiktok account they are the people that have been here for me through everything and i hold these people in such importance because they are my friends at this point you know so when i see them feeling uncomfortable and i'm the one that brought them here i want people to feel comfortable in my live streams I don't want them getting harassed because of me or my choices. And that sucks. And it's made me not want to live stream anymore. It wasn't even what I was feeling behind the camera. It was the fact that my followers and my friends, basically my family, didn't feel safe. And I was the one that brought them there. So it's kind of ruined my wanting to ever live stream. So I'm thinking about going back to it. They do have harsher in, um, restrictions now for YouTube. So maybe when I live stream, I will change my comment strictness to the highest setting. I don't know. I wish I could go back to live streaming and have that zest again, but I just, I want everyone to be safe. It's just, I might go back to it. It's just that I want everyone to be safe. Now you see, I've made a mistake here. These do not match. This is what I wanted. Just a nice, simple dusting of the crease. So I don't know how this black eye happened. So, let me move this again. I'm going to take my makeup wipes. I'm going to take some micellar water. I'm going to wash this all off. And then I'm going to redo it. I'm going to get it to match this eye. Because this is what I wanted. This is what we wanted. It's always okay to make mistakes. Do not ever feel bad for making a mistake while doing your makeup. I make so many. You just don't see them. Because one, this is only episode two. And two, because I also feel embarrassed when I make them. I feel embarrassed doing this part right now. So that is what we're going to do. I'm going to take one of these makeup wipes. And I'm just going 
to wash it off and start it over again. Because that's fine. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. If you understand the reference. Comments. Get in them. Where's my mirror? It's over there. So yeah, all I'm going to do is just wash this off. And then I'm going to come back to you guys after having washed all of this off. And getting it to match this eye. And then we're going to go on to eyeliner. Alright? See you there. You know what? It's the eyeliner. We're, since I have the brush out, we're going to go ahead and just do the brows. And I'm just going to dump this in the same gray shade. And I'm going to tick off all the eyebrow jelly girlies. Probably cause a le gasp to happen. But I don't know how to use those things. So if you have a good tutorial you want me to look at to do my brows in the proper fashion, let me know. But until then, this is all I can do. This is all I know how to do. So we is doing it. All right. Okay. I am terrible at doing these. Why does this one look like that? I have no idea. Anyway, we can always fix it later. So, yeah. There we go. Now I'm going to take my tattooed gel liner pencil. And I'm just going to go ahead and line my under eyes. So I'm going to have to move you. Just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the next one and then I'll come back to you guys. And now for eyeliner, we're just going to go in with my e.l.f. ink pot and charcoal, which is only $3. I will always recommend this. Maybe not for beginners, but for beginners, just put something that is straight where you want your, your eyeliner to be as a stencil and it'll help so much. So... I'm just going to go take my mirror here. Yeah, I think that looks fine. All right, I guess that's the size we're going with today. I guess that's what we're going with today. So, yeah. And don't worry if you mess up. That's why I keep micellar water. This Garnier Fructis micellar water, all in one. I like the pink one the best. And then get, get yourself some Q-tips. And you can clean up really easily in like little areas. If you mess up a line or anything like that, it doesn't take that much. Just make sure you get your cotton nice and wet. Simple. So now we're going to try to match this up as best I can. And also, sorry if my voice sounds bad. It's a little bit sore because I was out in like the negative below weather yesterday for quite a few hours. So forgive me if my voice sounds a little off today. <sighs> and my hand and my back are killing me right now, so I think that looks pretty well evened up, actually. Surprisingly. Okay! Okay! 
That turned out better than I thought. Huh. All right, let's get one of these filled in and then I will cut, make a cut and I will go to the next step. So all you gotta do to just fill that in is just take your eyeliner pot and just color in the lines as best as you can. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill these in and then I'm going to do, the, actually, we'll just go ahead and do this right now. Connect that to here. just like that you might need to clean it up a little bit and that's fine you do not have to feel ashamed of cleaning things up all right it's okay to make mistakes trust me i'm still learning things too so i'm gonna go ahead and fill these in and then i'll come back to you guys so i tried fixing them and they would not cooperate until i got them to be this big so and that took over 20 minutes See, we all make mistakes, we all try to make things work, and sometimes our makeup just does not cooperate with us, and some of us, our hands shake some really bad sometimes. So, now with both of those filled in and looking good, I think today I'm going to just skip concealer and just jump right on into the foundation. Like, I'm just, I'm just going shopping today. So, like, it's not like I'm doing a whole lot. You know what I mean? So, also, another thing I really don't know about, but I want to know about, is, like, bronzer. Where are you supposed to put bronzer? I see a lot of people putting it on their cheekbones, but isn't that also where you're supposed to do your contour? Or do you contour with bronzer? Is that how we're doing it now? Because I always thought they were, like, for two totally different things. So, this is the shade uh, Fair Ivory. Actually, I want the other one. I want my Natural Ivory. Yeah, this is the Natural Ivory. Um, this is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Maybelline, Maybelline. This is the shade 112. 112. And now, I don't use a lot of foundation. I don't like using a lot of foundation. All right, I think I used a little too much on my forehead, but that's fine. So yeah, I'm just going to take my brush here, if I can reach it. Ugh, there it is. going to grab my brush here and just brush this up. So like, if you have any good recommendations for like, any bronzers like what's the best thing out there at like walmart that you know of that's a bronzer let me know hopefully this will be up before i go shopping so you can tell me like in real time i hear somebody's alarm going off hang on so like yeah if you know of like any good bronzers or you have any tips for bronzer Help a girl out. Please. Help me. Anyone. Anyone, please. My girls, the gays, and the theys. Help a fellow member. Except for the theys, but like the theys are welcome. The the, the I, I've seen I've seen the skills that they have. And everyone is perfectly valid in everything they do. And I'm rooting for you. I just need a little bit more on my forehead. I thought I was gonna I thought I thought I had too much on my forehead. I did not. I guess I have a bigger forehead than I thought. Anyways. Yeah, if you know of any good bronzers, Rex, please. I will take them. I have one little black dot here. What? Where did you come from? 
And I don't even have a sharp nail on. Oh, this feels like the game operation. Ah. Oh. I got it. I got it. It's okay. Everything's fine. Why does it not look like my nose is powdered? I have no idea. Now, as for blush, I'm going to go ahead and use my Mean Girls North Shore Yearbook Limited Edition Palette from Profusion Cosmetics. Here is the colors. As you can tell, I this is my... I like to buy one palette that has like all the cooler, darker shades that I usually use, and then one that just has like all the primary colors. So that way, when I'm feeling a day where I want to like have a pop of color, I have all the colors that I need. And then I also have one with like all the blacks, the grays, the nude shades, you know what I mean? And so that's why I like my Moonstone palette and this palette the best, because they have both of the things that I need on a daily basis or a, even a spontaneous like oh maybe i want to do pink because you know valentine's day is coming up so i'll just grab this palette out it has like all these different pinks and everything in it and that way you don't have to like buy all these palettes just because it's the new and upcoming thing it's like you already have all the stuff that you need and i'm not and that's just my personal opinion like if you're one of those girlies that collects makeup palettes i love watching makeup palette collection videos I love those videos. I love seeing all the different like packaging, the shapes, the cut, like all the different colors. Cause I was one of those kids that messed around with watercolors way too much as a little kid. And uh, damn, I just damn near stabbed my eyeball. So it's, it just gives me like that childhood feeling of like messing in watercolors and painting something. You know what I mean? It gives me that same kind of feeling when I'm doing my makeup. And I just, I open up an eyeshadow palette. That's how it makes me feel. It's like, oh, I get to play with colors today. I don't know. It's just something just like that for me. So, yeah. I just take some of one of the pinks in there. And that's how I do my blush. Because, again, I don't know, like, a good blush. I don't know, like, should I use cream? Should I use powder? What's the benefits of each one? I don't know. And I'm one of those people that, like, before I buy anything, I tend to do the research. And I just, if I'm going to, like, Walmart because I buy on a budget, like, I just, I like to know if a product is good before I buy it. That's why I like watching makeup reviewers. I like watching these eyeshadow palette collections and, like, reviews tutorials i like watching makeup stuff i also like watching hair cutting videos but i also know i don't have the guts to go to a salon because all the salons near me have nothing but horror stories about just botched cuts from like people i know have gotten botched cuts from like everywhere around me so and the last time i tried cutting my hair was in 2020 and i wish that account was up gosh dang it because I made videos when I tried to cut my hair. I tried to give myself a trim and my hair was down to where it is today. In 2020, it took three years to grow my hair back to where it was. And I cut it to here. I looked like Lord Farquaad. It was awful. So... Yeah, don't ever do my mistakes, please. Okie dokie, I think that looks good. So we're good on blush. Yeah, I just wanted to do something very simple today. I just did not want to bother doing a whole lot. Yesterday was a... Took all day. Everything took all day. So, yeah. So now I'm just going to take my Matte Fit Me Imporeless powder. Which every single time I keep getting this out this morning... I'm like, I have to buy another one. Remind myself to buy another one. 
So I'm just going to take that, take my mirror, and get my face all nice and powdery. Let me know if this is ASMR -y or not. I don't know. I like watching ASMR sometimes. There's just something kind of relaxing and weirdly cool about it. I don't know. But that's my opinions on, on ASMR. If you watch ASMR, who do you watch? Let me know. I'm always willing to check out some new things. So, now that that is all out of the way, I think we're going to go ahead and do our lips, which I wanted to try something that I seen. I didn't, like, save it or anything, but I seen it, and this lady took two different matte lipsticks, and she made one, like, her liner... And then she put one inside of it, and then she kind of, like, blended her lips together, and it came out, like, really cool looking. So, I kind of wanted to try that today. So, I've got this black here that I hardly use. Which is the Stay Matte Lip... Lip... Color from Rimmel London. By the way, I don't hardly use it because it doesn't really stay. I think that's how you line your lips. We are just going to assume yes and trust the process. This looks very strange, but... <sighs> All right. This is the Wet n' Wild Liquid Cat Suit in the shade. Toffee Talk. This one I really like. But the Rimmel one doesn't really stay on your lips. Like, it comes off really, like, really easily. And I don't know why that is. Like, there's not a lot of good black lipsticks. Like, there's hardly any good, like, there's any, hardly any black lipsticks to begin with. But all the ones at, the, like, the drugstore that I've tried or I've been able to, like, find miraculously have all just not performed well. Not at all. I don't know if I like this, but I guess it's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. I guess. It's fine. I guess it's fine. It's whatever. It's gonna have to do, because I do not have the time to take it off. So, I guess... I guess that's everything. Wow, I think that is the shortest one of these I have ever filmed. Yay! So, I hope if this helped you guys in any way, shape, or form, please let me know. I would like to know um, if you like this series and you want it to keep going. This is just something I'm trying out. 
So let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to keep this series around. And I like filming them. I, I honestly was having trouble getting up this morning, but I was like, you know what? I can make this into something productive and just do content. So, yeah. you got, It's also helping me get up in the morning sometimes, I guess, now. So, yeah. Let me know in the comments below if you want it to continue. If you want to know where my socials are, my socials are in my link tree. If you click on my channel, you'll find my link tree. Everything should be there. Um, some people have been having issue with my Instagram link. So here's my Instagram. And my TikTok is Spontaneous Weirdness. My Twitter is The Random Show. It's, it's all there. Everything's there on the link tree. So go ahead and click that. And I, with all that out of the way, I think I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. I love you all so, so much. And I hope you have the best fucking day. Bye.